everyone welcome to my channel taking a walk around my backyard trying to do some cleanup for the fall my begonias are looking beautiful and I wanted to show you most people rake leaves in the fall but I wanted to show you what's all over my backyard if you see closely it's loaded with this special kind of I don't even know a nut or something they look about the size, they're bigger than golf balls, and they are all over my backyard. Sorry for my shot, I will turn this way. I also wanted to show you my impatient. Look how gorgeous it's filled out. I'm so happy with it. It's in my backyard, but I'm actually thinking of moving it to my front yard. But you'll see, there's more of these little, I don't know, some sort of nut. If anyone knows, let me know and leave me a comment. I actually brought one to school and we definitely decided it was some sort of nut, maybe like, I don't know, hazelnut? So anyways, I wanted to show you this little thing. So when I rake, one year I spent ugh, all day raking them up, making a pile, and it was a weekend. And I stopped, I'm going to show you over here near the fire pit. I left the pile. So I went back a couple days later to scoop up the pile and it was gone all the squirrels completely gone all the squirrels eat it so now this year and from then on I don't rake them anymore I just leave them and eventually they were all completely gone so I thought you'd like to hear this little fact about here in New England I'm one of the few people here that have to rake I don't even know what you'd call them like I said some sort of crazy nut from this big tree I'll show you a shot of the tree. So this is the big tree and it's really, really tall. And all these little nuts or whatever they are fall from the tree. And as you see, I have a metal shed here. I don't know if I can get in a view of it, but they fall and hit the shed all the time. Every now and then, I don't know if I'll happen to get one falling down, but you'll hear a big bang and they land on the shed craziness <laughs> here's another one of my begonias the colors are looking so beautiful they really filled out nicely this is how my impatience filled out in the shot of my little deer near the flowers here's my impatience that are in my big container there they really did fill out beautifully and you'll, you'll notice all my chairs full of little leaves over here the nuts don't reach this is another area of the yard Impatient. here's a pool area all covered up I did get a new fence before the end of the season picket fence and I always hate seeing the pool closed up but way too cold so there's a little quick view of the backyard with all the leaves falling down here's a view of all the trees behind me and as you can see they're not turning colors yet but when they do I'll try to get some shots of that because it really is beautiful that's my big nut tree <laughs> Here's a close-up of some of them. See, they change colors, and then they eventually turn to brown, too. I'll pick one up to show you. This one's brown. And I can actually squish it with my hands. And if I do, inside, it almost looks like a, a dirt. But when they start to fall, they're more greenish like this. Here's one more. Interesting, hmm?
my little table for two that's always set up on my porch. Has a blue table runner. I set up this little basket with some hydrangeas, some pumpkins I just stacked in a pot, and a wreath topiary. So that's in a little basket on the back of my table. The place setting on my little table for two. It's little blue, black, and tan pumpkin plates, a glass plate, and a wood look charger, which I thought worked great for fall. And just my little napkin there. So that's a table for two. There's a little vignette on my side table. Just a green pear plate, topiaries on some books. Here's my porch swing, just changed out the pillows here. 